I've been thinking a lot about philosophy of science because I'm currently writing a writing sample for it for uh, grad school. And I've been thinking about philosophy of science and how it relates to epistemology. And um, I guess when I think about the epistemological theories like foundationalism, co coherentism, and, and infinitism, I think that each one of those um, has a corresponding philosophy of science. For instance, and I want to make videos which clarify this more. I want I want to make a video about foundationalism and how that and how that and how that relates to inductivism, co and coherentism, how that how that relates to deductivism, and infinitism. I'm not really sure about that. I have to search more into that. Um, but you know, um, foundationalism relates to. Um, in, to inductivism because induction is about um, you know the um, inductivist um, like um, gosh, uh, Putnam Putnam uh, criticizes criticizes Karl Popper Karl Karl Popper is a de is a deductivist and um, oh power went out a little bit oh my gosh yeah yeah it did. Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, um, found if a, a, a foundationalist, which is like holding basic beliefs, um, base or beliefs that are freestanding and don't need justification outs, outside of itself, uh, beliefs that can be the foundation of one's system of of beliefs. That relates to inductivism because the inductivist um, goes about. Um, goes about um, verifying statements, verifying scientific statements um, through verification and verifying them through uh, through observation. Now, the foundationalists, well, most of them anyway, are going to put at the foundation most of what comes through uh, through observation um, or sense data. People like Rudolf Carnap and Morris Schlick, the uh, of the Logical, of the logical positivist era, um, that's what they held. Um, that sense data is the is the foundation. Observation is the foundation for all for all of science. Um, so verification, they will they 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 verify a a science a scientific statement as being true or false uh, by you know um, whether observation confirms it or or not. Um, and they go through science in a in a inductive in a in a in an inductive fashion, and induction being um, in inferring things by what we see. You know, um, induction is a form of logic which you go from more specific things, more specific premises to um, to um, uh, more general uh, con conclusions. Um, and that's what inductivism is. It's um, verifying scientific statements through observation, and um, and this is just a very brief, you know, going over it, like very, very like scratching the surface of this, um, and inferring things from what we have in out in um, observation, which is obviously the the foundation of our system of of beliefs. So foundationalism in Epistemology relates to in, to inductivism in in uh, f in um, philosophy of science. Coherentism, on the other hand, doesn't have any hierarchy of beliefs. Um, a, a one's beliefs are justified because of the coherent s s system of beliefs that that that, uh, that 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 a belief is a is a member of. Um, there's no foundation. There's no you know observation that one can go by. And uh, people like there's people like Carl uh, Carl Carl Popper. He has a book called The Logical Scientific Discovery. He goes by, or the the coherentism I think relates to deductivism, and false and fa falsification rather than verification. Falsification, um, or Popper uses the word corroboration, um, because he Popper states that a scientific statement or theory is corroborated. It's highly it's highly corroborated because it's 
withstood a lot of tests and experiments and has come out unscathed and it is still it's still you know um there has been no experiment that has failed which has um caused this this theory or this statement to be to be thrown out um you know um so that's falsificationism because you go through experiments and um tests to try and see if you can defeat it to falsify it and a a statement or or a a scientific statement or theory is highly corroborated if 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 it if it has withstood a, no, a number of these things um so i think co i think that, that uh, coherentism relates to deductivism or sorry the power issue power went out and it reset it reset this thing um so it relates to deductivism or or, or falsificationism and um that's how they relate. Now, infinitism, I'm not sure how that works. I would have to, I'm going to have to read in more into Peter Klein, who is an infinitist epistemologist, um, and see how that and see how that relates to 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 philosophy of science. But I think that on um, epistemology determines a a philosophy of science. So this is a bit of a methodological consideration. But the issue is should it should should epistemology be first, which determines the philosophy of science or the how and what of gaining more knowledge and growing our knowledge, or should figuring out the how and what of science be first and then the epistemology follow? That's the that that's that that's the question. So, um, that's kind of what I'm thinking about here. So if you have if you have a question or if you uh, if you want to talk about something or if you think I've if you think I've messed something up or misconstrued, misconstrued something, please comment below. I'd love to discuss with you, and uh, th thank you for watching.